if I let go of it, look at this, whoa, it's out of control. Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at this portable washing machine. I've seen it on social media. I've got a lot of requests for it. So today I'm going to find out if it really works. Let's first jump back to the unboxing and then get started. Got some instructions, very important. We've got a lid. Got some sort of a basket here. Got an adapter here. Let's look in the bottom. There's some suction cups. It's already sticking to the, uh, to the table here. And a drain plug with a hose. I think to open this up, you're supposed to put your hand in there and pull it up. All right, so this is advertised as a 6.5 liter washing machine. I paid 60 bucks for this. You can't find it cheaper elsewhere, but this is one on Amazon that had the most reviews, so I thought that was the one to go with. The claims are that it's good for small items such as socks, underwear, baby clothes, not meant for larger clothing items. Easy to store as it folds down to five inches when not in use, up to 11 when unfolded. This is a three mode timer. They say it's for one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes. Includes drain pipe, collapse, collapsible drain basket. Weighs only 3.3 pounds. Ideal for RV, dorm, or even camping. Reviews are kind of all over the place on this one on Amazon. So I'll be curious to see how this one works. So what I wanted to do was compare the results of this portable washing machine with that of a full size unit. So the first thing I had to do was get some stains. The first thing I wanted to stain was a white t-shirt. I've got two white shirts. In fact, I've used these in the past. You can see an old stain right there. I'm gonna try staining these with some blue raspberry for my shave ice review. That should be pretty good. And also a little bit of soy sauce. I do one capful on each. I'm gonna rub that in a little bit. Got some soy sauce. I'm gonna let them sit for 24 hours and wash them both. I have a bad feeling about this, but we'll see what happens anyways. So next up, I don't have any white socks myself, but I borrowed some and I walked around outside. I also got a couple of white cloths and wiped off a dirty table with those. Ouch, 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 ouch. Nice. You can actually see my handprint, that's perfect. All right, here's all of our stains. Let's take a closer look. The shirts have the syrup on it and the soy sauce, and they feel kind of almost crusty right now. That should be fun. Got the two socks I rocked around in the dirt with, and the two cloths with my handprint in the dirt. One set's going in the small washing machine, one set's going in the big one, and when they're done, we'll compare. So now it was time to test it out. I took it in my bathroom and set it up next to the sink. Now you can use this anywhere, but I thought next to the sink would be ideal, especially when I do the spin cycle so the water can drain right in the sink. But let's add our clothes and then get started. First up, the stained shirt. That should be fun. Next up, the dirty sock. And finally, the handprint cloth. So that's how much it holds in there. Not too bad. Doesn't look like it holds much more than that. Now there really isn't a fill line, but I went up to about right here. We do have a handle for easy carrying. People on Amazon definitely stress not to use too much soap. I got a tablespoon, which doesn't seem like too much. We'll add that and then get started. All right, so I want to press this for three seconds. And that's what we got. All right, well, I'm gonna let this go for 10 minutes. It looks like it goes for a few seconds, stops, and then repeats. Now you can put the lid on here, but I kind of don't want to watch it, so I'm gonna leave the lid off. One observation is that the suction cups are holding pretty well, so that's good. That water does look kind of cloudy, so it's doing something. All right, I'm gonna cover this up and let it go the rest of the 10 minutes. So while that was going, I put my other set of clothes in the full-size washing machine. What I did here was I put it on a short cycle. I only added the exact same amount of soap I had in the portable unit. When they're both done, we'll compare the results. But next up for the portable unit, what I wanted to do, this is not in the instructions, and the instructions aren't very good, by the way, but a lot of people online were saying they did this, and that is to run it through another cycle with just plain water to get the soap out of the clothes. So that's what I did, and here's how that went. All right, the 10-minute cycle just ended. There was no notification, it just, just kind of stopped. Now what you're supposed to do is wring them out and put it in the spin dry basket, but I'm going to run one more cycle with non-soapy water to try to rinse it out a little bit. Well, that water does look kind of cloudy. All right, another 10 minutes with just regular water, no soap, to rinse it out and then we drain it. So now what you're supposed to do is wring the clothes out by hand, dump the water out, put the clothes in the basket and run it through a spin cycle. And like some commenters online, that did not go so well for me. Check it out. All right, we are done. Now the next step is to take them out of here, wring them out by hand, and place them in the spin basket. 
All right, so they are in the spin basket now, and I have to dump the water out. Now I'm placing the spin basket back in there, and I've removed the plug gear for the drain, so hopefully any excess water will come out in the sink, and we should have damp instead of wet clothes when we're done. Oh, look at that shaking. Look at it shaking around. Whoa. Whoa, I'm gonna have to hold this. Oh, it is not like that. Uh-uh. Whoa. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even tell if any water's coming out, but it, look at the way it's shaking around. <laughs> if I let go of it, look at this. Whoa. It's out of control. I also haven't noticed any water coming out of the, out of the drain either. I guess I'm literally gonna hold it for 10 minutes. Otherwise you get this. We don't really want that. I guess I'll just cover it up. It's, it's chaos in here. It's chaos. Look at this. Dang, it's walking around. Oh, something happened. That was just, it fell off of there. It fell off. I'm gonna have to start this over again. It's completely went haywire. I'm not sure this spin cycle is really doing much, but we're gonna keep going anyways. Oh, it just flew over. Everything flew out. Oh, it's, it's, it's chaos again. Oh no, it's chaos again. I'm gonna need to readjust this. I'm gonna kind of smash it in there this time. <laughs> For, you know, forget it. I'm not even gonna see any water come out of there anyways. I don't think the spin cycle's doing much. So let's take these out of here and take a quick peek. The washcloth looks pretty good. I'll compare this to the other one, but the washcloth is looking pretty solid. The sock looks pretty nice actually. Not bad. Now for the shirt. All right, so I'm looking at the shirt here and the shirt really doesn't look too bad. I'll have to let these dry and then compare it to the regular washing machine. All right, so everything's out of the wash. I laid them all flat and let's take a look at how they compare. All right, this set on the left came from the full size washing machine. The one on the right is from the portable washing machine. Now at first glance, it looks like the one from the full size is whiter than the one from the portable, but the portable is still kind of damp. It was much more damp than the one from the washing machine, so I think that's the difference in color. But as far as the stains go, on the full size washing machine, you got a little bit of the soy sauce, the syrup is gone. On the portable unit, you got a little bit of soy sauce and the syrup is gone. The two socks look pretty comparable, full size washing machine, portable washing machine, and the two washcloths, the handprint's completely gone on both of them. What's funny to me is that the washing cycles were about the same, but this came out much drier from the spin cycle than this one did. This one I basically just wrung out with by hand, so it's still kind of damp. Overall, I think the portable machine did a better job than I actually expected. All right, so let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. The biggest pro was that it worked better than I thought it was going to. The stains from all three items came out pretty well on this one. It also stayed in place pretty well while washing, and it also does full down for easy storage. The cons, the spin cycle was a disaster. That doesn't work well at all, and it doesn't really hold a lot of clothes. In some cases, I think it would just be faster to wash a few items by hand rather than go through all this. I can see why reviews are mixed for this particular item because it would be good for some people and not very good for others. But I'm glad I tried it and if you've tried an item like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.